It's really crazy how 10 years ago, Black Ops 1 was released and my next door neighbor introduced me to Call of Duty Zombies. And after he introduced me to Call of Duty, Duty Zombies, all we would ever do is just play Keynote or Toten. And that was 10 years ago at the beginning of this decade. In 2011, Minecraft comes out for the Xbox 360, aka one of the top three biggest games ever released. This caused in a, a series of explosions for so many different things. Captain Sparkles released the song Revenge on August 19, 2011, which is a parody of a song that has way more views than the original freaking song. That has always stood out as so cool to me. But not only that, that was the start of so many YouTubers' backstory. Minecraft was basically a foundation for YouTube, and if you ask the top YouTubers today, they would probably say say they started on Minecraft. And not to mention, this was the first year that I really started like being really interested into YouTube because I was so into Call of Duty Zombies and I ended up finding out about custom zombies and I would always, always watch custom zombie gameplays on YouTube because I didn't have a computer to play it because I would think I was like, how old was I at the time? Like probably like eight or nine, 2012 also known as the supposedly the end of the earth. Which is so funny saying now since the earth is so close to being ruined to no return. Yeah, it's pretty crazy saying that now that 2012 was supposed to be the end of the earth and now we're actually really close to the end of the earth. But in 2012, this was the first time I ever actually played Minecraft in the first place. I remember my friend Ian, we were at the track doing the mile and we were going back to the gym and the whole way down from the track, he was telling me about this game that was made out of blocks and you could make diamond swords and you could make bow and arrows and shoot at skeletons, which is something I never even heard of in the first place. And it just made it so much cooler. After that, I downloaded the free version on Xbox 360 and every day after coming home to school, I would play the freaking tutorial. But not only that, one of the best CODs ever came out that year, Black Ops 2 housing some of the best zombies maps ever made. Thrift Shop from Macklemore also came out that year which was such a funny song at the time and last but not least Gangnam Style by Psy was released being the first video on YouTube to ever hit 1 billion views and that's like crazy how can a video get 1 billion views if there's only 7 million people on earth like that just makes no sense 2013 now, I really feel like this 2013 was the start of how the internet is today. In 2013, we saw things like how animals eat their food. which really started like a culture of randomness along with the release of Vine, housing some of the most iconic videos ever made on the internet. What Does the Fox Say also came out in 2013, and let's not forget, 2013 was when PewDiePie became the number one most subscribed channel, getting over 7 million subscribers in 2013 alone. Yeah, that's insane. 2014. Um, what happened this year? I actually can't remember. If you guys remember big things that happened in 2014, please make sure to comment it because I actually can't remember anything that happened in 2014 that was big. I was actually thinking about this for hours. But a really nostalgic memory for me from 2014 was Love Me Harder from Ariana Grande came out. And when this played on the radio, okay, I would like sneakily turn it up. You know, I loved, I loved her so much. I loved that song so much, but I didn't want it to let it show and you know to this day i'm a little more open about loving ariana grande and i still love her tons ariana grande and i are totally going to prom together uh this year totally 100 percent like she can't turn down a hottie like me like she can't she just simply can't 2015 
2015, definitely in the top three best years of the decade. In 2015, Vine was still blowing up like crazy and Black Ops 3 was released. But Black Ops 3 was special because of the zombies. Black Ops 3 ended a two year long dead period for the zombies community, which was absolutely the worst thing ever. And after Black Ops 3, it ended up being one of the biggest communities, gaming communities on YouTube. In fact, this was the first time we ever saw zombies game mode being bigger than multiplayer which is so crazy saying but not only that the black and blue dress came to the internet driving everybody nuts because there was a few psychopaths saying that the dress was in fact white and gold which by the way it's it's black and blue no matter which way you look at it no matter how much you turn the brightness up it's black and blue and you're just stupid 2016 I'm pretty sure 2016 is the regarded as the best year for like 90% of people. I've seen people talk about it on Instagram, I've seen memes about it, and I've even heard it in songs. There's nothing that I can really remember that made 2016 so great, but this was the first Z house ever made. It was so cool at the time and so good for the zombies community because it had such a great effect and it, it was just amazing. You had to be there. Also, also, I know that Panda by Designer blew up this year, mostly because the radio couldn't go 10 minutes without playing it at least two times. It was actually horrible how many times you heard Panda on the radio a day. Oh, and let's not forget about Leafy is here. He had one of the biggest comes up ever and had a downfall that was just as hard. And it's crazy. 2017. Where do I even start off with 2017? So starting off on May 15th, the Nerd Purier channel was born. Or the second, because the first Nerd Purier channel was made back in 2012, and I kind of forgot the password. The new whimsical gobblegum eye candy. Now this is one of the various gobblegums added to the new DLC to Black Ops 3 Zombies Chronicles. May 15th also was the release of the fifth DLC never done before Zombie Chronicles for Black Ops 3. It really just feels like yesterday that I was editing videos on my shitty laptop and listening to Post Malone. And it's just, it's just such great times. Not only this, but in September of 2017, Fortnite Battle Royale was released. This became the biggest game of all time. It brought something so new and so refreshing to gaming, especially with the whole building mechanic, and it was just so cool playing Fortnite back in 2017. And I'm glad, I'm really glad I was there to experience it. Fortnite has housed some of the best memories I've ever had. 2018. Now this. This is my favorite year. In December of 2017, I decided that in 2018, I would completely quit streaming and focus entirely on making videos alone. So at this time, I was posting every two days, which eventually lead it up to me posting the Who the Fuck Created Kirby video, which is at 144,000 views today. And is the first thing that comes up when you look up who created Kirby. Not only that, but on February 22nd, season three of Fortnite was released, which is widely regarded as the best season ever of Fortnite. GG faggots, get on my level, you're not gay enough for me. Ah! Sorry, I'm kind of autistic. <laughs> and it was so fun. Then on April 26, Beer Bongs and Bentleys by Post Malone was released, which is definitely my favorite album of all time. There's not a single bad song in it, and it's just so amazing. I highly recommend listening to it. And then on May 1st, season of four of Fortnite, was released and that day may 1st will always go down as the best day of my life and not only that that day i got killed by hamlin's my first game on Oh, 
oh my god i i've explained that whole day in a video before and it was amazing i'll i'll annotate that video up on the screen yeah i love 2018 and finally 2019 i don't even know what to say for this year because it actually went by so fast i really wanted to name out a list of everybody who made my 2019 so much better but i decided there was too much room for error and like the potential chance of forgetting somebody and i didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings but just know you all really made my 2019 way better than it would have been without you guys in 2019 i finally got health insurance so i could get Get the surgery i needed for two years i healed from that surgery from the worst month of my entire life i was finally able to work out again in july after two and a half long years of not being able to do any physical activity i wasn't lazy with my content at all and i'm not saying that my content was at its peak in 2019 i would say the first six months it wasn't the best but i know that i worked my ass off to make those videos and i know i there was wasn't a lazy moment in 2019. 2019 was the best year of YouTube and the best year of my life. I decided to hang out with my friends more, make more connections, reach out to more people, and I just feel like I really did a lot of good things in 2019. YouTube is like a roller coaster and not because it's had its ups and downs, but because it was a fun ass ride and I've enjoyed every second of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, a subscribe and a comment and I'll see you next year. <laughs> I'll see you next decade. I'll see you next decade. Peace guys. I love you all. Yeah.